Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. This time is the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Broly Super Saiyan Full Power. Or Super Saiyan Broly Full Power. Whatever one you want to call it, doesn't really matter. You're going to argue in the comments anyway. But let's get started on this review. Everyone has been highly anticipating this figure. When we first saw it, uh, everyone was mad about the no bicep swivel, but it was an early prototype. Then we went through changes and changes and changes. And now we actually have this, uh, this masterpiece on hand. So uh, let's get started. Let's pull them up front, make them look good, take a quick look as we go around. Let me raise this up. And I got to say, uh, I'm really enjoying this Broly. While it is a tad bit smaller than the original one and some changes were made, overall design-wise and engineering-wise, this Broly has got to be the best large Dragon Ball figure we've seen in a very long time, if not the best large one. It's just a great figure. It handles very easily. Um, it doesn't come with much because by this point in the movie, Broly has pretty much wrecked the shit out of everyone. Excuse my language for that. And uh, he's just full power and berserk. And it's just really cool to see it happen. So let's go over the articulation. First thing, though, before articulation, I do want to talk about the fact that Broly's hair is really, really nice. Face sculpt, just the sculpting of his whole upper torso is done so well. Uh, if you have the SHF Hulk, I get that same vibe from this. And I really, really like that. I'm going to compare those two a little later, too. But I'm just I'm solid. The Dragon Ball proportions on this is just magnificent. But uh, anyway, articulation-wise, Broly's head can look up, but you can't really turn it because the hair on the back will get in the way, so keep that in mind. But it does go up and can get into flight poses. His head can go down. There is a ball joint to wiggle around, as you see here. You can tilt it left and right. So while it does have a ton of range, his hair will uh, stop it from sitting in just a slight few poses that you may or may not want to get into. Now, as far as the upper torso goes, we have a very nice and generous butterfly joint. That can actually wiggle around up and down just a tad bit, left and right. So you can go in those four positions. The arm can rotate out this high with no issue whatsoever. There is a bicep swivel. Now, the muscle is pretty large, so it can't rotate all the way around, but it does get a nice range. So you don't have to worry about too much there. Arms are double jointed, but obviously there's a lot of muscle mass there, so it'll get in the way. The hand rotates on a standard SHF joint. Uh, and standard SHF joint. Actually, you get a little bit more of a poking out joint here. So I want to point that out. His hands are pretty big. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, we're going to go with the upper torso and the ab section. Now, this is actually really done really well because you can rotate. Oops, you can rotate left. You can rotate right. The ab crunch comes down really far. As you can see here, with no problems, he wins back. And he can comes back with some. So if you want to punch him in his head, knock his lights out, you can. Not like it's going to be done very easily anyway. The nice scar here was a next touch. It is actually, uh, I know people actually say a lot about how they don't do shading anymore, but engineering wise, we actually get something a lot more greater for this piece. So I guess you can do, well, a lot of times people paint things themselves anyway to make it perfect. So if you take the time to paint it yourself, you can add all that battle damage and scratch stuff that you want because for more engineering, you're definitely getting the bang for your buck movement wise. You also get a lower articulation crunch. So it actually rotates a little bit more down there as well. So you can actually get into really cool poses outside of just power posing and stuff like that. You know, obviously you got your yelling pose, which looks really great. But then you want to do some other cool stuff. It's totally possible with this Broly. So let me see you. Uh, let me do a quick flex with him real quick. <clears throat> One of those things that I do like about this that I'm going to get into actually is the simple fact that Broly actually has soft plastic on his uh animal's mane i don't I forgot his friend's name already but broly can can do actual other poses and just standing there so this is actually done really well so as far as the legs go and i want to talk about the pelt or the skin of his friend this can actually rotate up because actually there's a nice little joint here for the back to rotate it back and it can sit comfortably in a raised pose this is actually soft plastic so you don't have to worry about it really breaking um, and it just, it's done really well. I thought it was going to be hard plastic, which is the thing I was worried about. Not at all. As you can see, Broly here also uses, uh, 3.0 tech, well, 2.0 technology, I want to call it, not 3.0, but the leg can go back really far. The leg can go forward. So Broly can actually kick up and it's really done. I, it's really done nicely. There is a thigh swivel as well that rotates out left and right. Knees are double jointed. So Broly can actually crouch down very well. And the pelt, even though it's in the way, actually, we rotate this back down. <laughs> and even though the pelt is in the way, 
I don't think really really suffers from it. And it still has very nice ankle pivot as well. So if we're talking about movement wise, this really has a lot more range than his predecessor, with the exception being that the hair will get in the way long range. So you'll technically always be looking down. So that's one of the drawbacks of that. But Broly being such a big, magnificent piece, I'm willing to be okay with that little sacrifice. We also get a very nice ankle pivot. Rotate side to side, in and out. It's strong as well, too. And there's a toe pivot for his big old feet as well. <clears throat> so like I said, it's one of those things where big piece, but uh, the little things that you sacrifice actually look well. And I don't really mind him looking down as well because also... With that being said, he's not going to look up to many other people either. So I don't think that's too much of a worry. I think outside of Hulk, Apocalypse, or Onslaught, or other big characters that you may get, there's not many that he's going to actually look up to. As you can see right here, I have to actually constantly adjust the camera because he's such a larger-than-life character. So just keep that in mind. So Broly doesn't come with a lot. Um, he doesn't do much besides Pummel, Goku, and Vegeta most of the movie, and then Frieza for two hours. So... <clears throat> there are open palm hands which you'll get you can grab enemies with this but this is not like the grabby grabby version this is the more open palm action version you can use these for key blasts uh defending yourself many other things speaking of that you can actually rotate Broly's arms to a front defensive position as well too so you can take the defense as well let's keep that in mind now these are your grabby grabby hands these are the ones you're going to use to throw uh, Goku and into walls and floors and do all that sorts of stuff or even just look menacing with these hands because it's just really done really well you won't get no obviously uh these the open palm the martial arts karate chop hands Broly doesn't use any of that kind of stuff Broly is pure power incarnate and it's done really well um next up face plates now I know we've got this normal face plate that we have here this is the the neutral mad face which is done very well um, at some point, though, Broly does still have pupils. I wish they would have given him at least one plate for that, but they didn't, so oh well. Other than that, I can't really complain about too much, so I won't. Um, <laughs> and then we get... Oh, wow, that's actually really good posing. The smiling face. The face that we all know and love for Broly, but this time is in the canon version. So now we have a Broly who does the smirk, at least. Also has a scar on the face, too, so don't forget that. Last but not least, we have the yelling head which is done very, very well. I think these heads are all done very well. Actually has a new feel to the plastic since Boo. This one is a little bit more soft in the face as well, too. I like the feel of the new plastic. Very nice touch. Now, real quick, we're going to jump into the size comparisons for Broly. Being as he's a larger character, I'm going to compare it to a few Dragon Ball characters and a few from other different lines. So hopefully you get some ideas on what you want and what you, know, you want to scale them up with. Because it's your universe. Do what you want. So let's get him standing straight up, make him look real nice for the people. Let's actually get you in a, a decent pose. There we go. Yeah, look nice. Let's put you back as far as possible with your legs as standing up, as naturally posed as possible. So we don't dismiss any disclaimers about your height. There we go, right? First things first, though, we're going to compare him to some Dragon Ball characters. So we can knock that out of the way. Here he is next to Whis, who he never laid a hand on, not even once. Here he is next to Vegito, where this never actually happened in canon. But, you know, Dragon Ball heroes, you can make it happen if you want. So here he is next to this guy. And as you can see, Broly's already gigantic. Most people don't even get past uh, the torso. So those two are knocked out. Let's try here. We have Frieza. Frieza's tiny self who gets pummeled by Broly. Frieza stands nowhere near close in height to him. Next up, let's try Gotenks, another fusion character who has never met Broly. But again, you want to see what they look like size-wise, right? Here we have Goku. A Saiyan raised on Earth, which is the body basically being used even with the new one. Voila. Here is Super Saiyan Vegeta. The Cell Games one, until we get the new one coming soon. Look really good. Broly's gigantic. I mean, there's no brainer about that one. Next up, we're going to do Beerus. Who is the destroyer of worlds. And last but not least, Gogeta himself. Now, I have Gogeta posed down in already a cool pose. 
because I was messing around with him. But let's stand him straight up. So we can see that Gogeta, who fights him at the end of the Broly movie, looks like next to him. <clears throat> and obviously, they are clearly outmatched in terms of height, but they look absolutely great next to him. I think these uh, larger-than-life figures always do really well when they go up against smaller characters to show just how insurmountable it is, and I really like that. So I think they all look good height-wise. I think Broly's a really good height. But last but not least, for those of you who always want to see what that is like, here he is next to his counterpart. And as you can see, the previous Broly is gigantic. His proportions are out of control, and it's crazy. But it's still the Broly a lot of us only know and love. But imagine if this Broly had this level of engineering. It would be crazy cool, right? I just think that the shoulders now, looking at it, may be a little too big. But I think he was drawn that way. Maybe that, I can't remember as a kid. But even now, as I look at it later, this wild interpretation of him was the way he was actually done. So that's pretty cool. But looking at the new one, gotta say this is the new go-to that I am very much enjoying. So there's that. Now we're gonna get into some size comparison for other lines, and the reason why that is is because again, these are your universes. You never know what you're gonna mix it up with. So here is Broly next to the Hasbro Lightning Collection White Ranger. Here is Broly next to Mesco Blade. And as you can see, Broly's still gigantic over other lines, domestic or not. A Marvel Legends Spider-Man. An SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. Who these guys stand zero chance against. <laughs> but I do want to talk about the Broly real quick. <clears throat> the Broly with Hulk, actually. Now, as I was saying, not many other characters are going to scale in terms of him in terms of height. And Hulk is that character. And as you can see... They share a little bit of love with each other and the, and the uh, ab section, or, or the, the ab and the torso section. And the reason why that is is because it's obviously not the same team working on it, but it's okay to share ideas and technology. And I can definitely see from Hulk getting Broly to finite version for Dragon Ball working out. And I like that. I like that when ideas are shared, you actually grow and become better for that. Hopefully a lot of other lines can take an example for that and continue to do it. Last but not least, an Articulated Icons Ninja and a 1000 Toy Synthetic Human to wrap things up. As you can see, these guys are also tiny. Not like much of it made a difference, but I just wanted to show you. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. I hope you do good, be good, drink your water. Later.